Guys, Brian back with a COSP update. I thought it was important to to get a video out today. I know I said yesterday I was going to, uh, every two or three days was suffice. Um, seen the price action forming here, and, and I thought it was pretty important to get this out, all right? Now, number one, we were looking, uh, in the video yesterday, we were looking for that one, one wave to be in here somewhere, okay? Which is totally not the case at all okay we can see if we take this one wave back here all right and bring it up here looks more something along those lines you know what I mean it's it's a lot bigger um, it's a lot bigger of a move than just this little wave one we were looking at back here okay so this would make sense right here all right another thing uh, we're gonna put the Fibonacci on this in a second to get an extension and Geez, I apologize if you hear the, there's a, I do these videos in my garage in a room, uh, a room I have set up back there. Well, I have a tin garage, so when it rains, you can, unfortunately, you can hear the rain hitting the roof, so I apologize, um, I, I think it's done now, but something I really didn't realize, all right, um, looking at COSPA, look at the, uh, okay, the market cap, 467 million, and I honestly, did not realize this um it's twice the size of gala games now isn't the 257 million market cap for gala okay and there's cospa 467 million almost double the size of gala um that just shocks me quite honestly uh some places list gala as number 214 you know and then uh, others listed as 97 so i never really uh, uh checked out both market caps but i'm kind of shocked about that uh, gala is such a uh, great project and um not saying cospa is not at all i'm just shocked that uh that, that it's on that cospa is almost double the size especially with market cap that just really shocked me but anyway, let's move on here. Let's get back to this chart, all right? Oh, here comes the rain again. Jeez. Hope I don't have to restart this again. Um, had to restart this video twice now because getting really bad hail and stuff where I'm at. It's just been horrible, all right? But if we look at these RSIs, that four hour is right down at the bottom, okay? So looks like we're, looks like we're about due for a bump here, okay? The daily is heading down but look at this weekly that's the one i'm excited about right there okay when that thing touches bottom um we are ready to go that's for sure so it might take another week or so to play out there but let's get back to this wave one that we were looking at okay now if we take that as our wave one now as far as a pullback we're going to put a fibonacci on this thing and see where we've come okay let's get right in there I like getting this as perfect as I can all right this is on the four hour all right you can see yeah, it's down a little bit more all right yeah, there we go yeah, that'll work okay now we're approaching that 786 super important we hold that 786 all right for this one wave to be playing out here this this would be our one we're going to put that extension on it and see what price target that gives us all right so no matter what you know the line in the sand for this uh for this move playing out is going to be right there okay let me get a line there we're going to stick that right there there we got it okay so that's at uh 0 0.0246 all right we definitely do not want to break that or that uh, that puts this uh, move out okay the 786 is is the biggest pullback we can have for this wave one all right so we definitely want to see it hold there and that would be we take a move on this you know we can come another four percent down all right you know right now on the chart I'm using right here we're down 2.59 percent but I have a second chart too. Uh, this one's from MEXC. My other COSPA chart is, uh, uh, it doesn't say, probably from Binance, I would think. 
okay somewhere around there um, let's go back here all right let's uh, now if we put that Fibonacci trend based extension on this as the wave one okay we take it from our low of wave one to our high back to the retrace say the retrace comes down to that seven eight six well yeah all right we're just gonna say it comes down to that seven eight six that would be giving us a new uh, a full 4.236 extension up to the 0 0.0635 all right if that was a one one and two okay that would be a one two or three would be our longest wave four you know not saying that's going to play out I can't guarantee anything in crypto but um, this is definitely looking a lot better as a wave one I'm glad we got this pullback and it's starting uh, to look a lot more clearer so thank you so much guys please hit the like and subscribe and I'll talk to you real soon